How much should your qualified rate be? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. TransactionExpert.com is the leader in transaction services. We build your online presence and point of sale system to integrate with each other. If you are ready to understand and control the entire customer experience, visit TransactionExpert.com. How much should you pay on your qualified rate? If you're looking at your statement and you see the qualified rate or you see the qual rate, Q-U-A-L, same thing. We talked about in a previous video what the qualified transactions are. They're traditional cards, traditional check or credit cards run uh, through the terminal, physically run through the terminal and swiped. But the question is, how much should your rate be? Well, I'll give you uh, some examples of our rates um, and kind of some different ranges to give you a good idea of if you're paying too much. First of all, you have to look and see if you are on what's called three-tier pricing or what they call a blended qualified rate, or if you're on four-tier pricing, which is called a split qualified rate. Now, don't worry. I know it sounds complicated, but I'll explain it. It's really, really simple. Basically, it's a lot cheaper. In most cases, it's a lot cheaper for your credit card company to run a check card than it is for them to run a credit card. Okay? I won't get into all the details, but the cost to the credit card processing company is a lot less on a check card than it is on a credit card. And so many companies like ours, Transaction Expert does this, we pretty much always do four tier pricing, what's called split rate pricing. And what that means is that we actually give you two different qualified rates. We give you one qualified rate for check cards, and then we give you one qualified rate for credit cards. So we split those two up because again, it's cheaper for us, so we pass those savings on to you. Now, we normally end up pricing these at a rate of 0.55% uh, to 0.59%, somewhere in that range, uh, on qualified check cards. So you're gonna pay basically a little more than half a percent for a qualified check card transaction. Then, we usually charge around 1.6% for a qualified credit card transaction. Now again, those rates can vary. You have to talk to your transaction expert about that. If you have a very small business with lower margins, those rates could be a little higher than that. Um, so there's different scenarios there. And again, that's not the only cost structure. There's also interchange plus pricing, which we'll talk about in another video. But if you're on you know, your qualified rate, you're looking at your statement, if you're on split pricing, which means again, you've got you know, four different rates. You have qualified check card, qualified credit card, mid-qualified, and non-qualified, so your four rates, your qualified check card should be somewhere around half a percent to maybe 0.75 percent, um, and then your, your credit card qualified rate should be around 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, you know, somewhere kind of in that range would be a good qualified rate uh, for you. So look at your statement and see what is your qualified rate. If you have any questions, just go to transactionexpert.com. We'd be glad to even give you a free cost analysis. Um, you know, you can go there and go to transactionexpert.com and click on free cost analysis and we'll do that for you and show you what we could save you. Or, uh, you know, go there and click on find an expert near me and we'll actually send someone out to your location. Um, and if we have somebody nearby and uh, they can actually walk you through this a little bit more in detail.